Hey there fellow crypto miners. I want to introduce you to the Watts Miner M1 with the Watts Power P3. This unit produces 11.5 terahash per second with three hash boards. It runs at 220 volts and produces 1800 watts. It has three hashing boards which each require three plugs a plug for the controller and the fan and the ethernet cable in the front. So to hook this up in the United States you're going to have to install a 220 volt circuit. You will also need a special outlet like this which you can buy at Home Depot. We sell the plugs which will plug into the power supply and allow you to power this on in the United States. As you can see, it's the same as a normal computer on one end with a different end on the other. So the P3 power supply runs at 220 volts. I'm told we're going to be making a 110 volt power supply very soon. The power supply has three sets of cables, one for each hash board, and one for the controller and fan. I've sped up the video a bit to save some time. The order in which you connect these doesn't really matter except for that you should not stretch the cables to where they're pulling on the power supply. There you go. It's all set up. And now I'm going to plug in the Ethernet cable into the front. Okay, just like that, and I'm ready to power on. Okay, she started up, should sign it an IP address, and now I can go back to my terminal to log into the box and show you the interface. Okay, here we are back at my term. I'm going to log into the machine. Okay, I'm going to go to the CG miner status. And now here you see my elapsed time, 1 minute 37 seconds. I just started the machine back up. Its hashing rate is starting up. As you can see, the hash rate is going to increase until it reaches its goal of 11.5 terahash. The temperatures I'm showing you on the chips at the moment, you got three hashing boards and my uh, pools where I'm set up, my backup pools and my main pools. Here's where you set up your pools and uh, you set it up on the other side as well so that you can accept the connections. Some pools are different than others. Okay, this is where you can name your host name and set your time zones. And then uh, you can see the system log. Uh, the interface is a little better than the S9 in my opinion. Um, it's got a little more features. I'm showing you here the uh, the boot up process, and as it starts hashing up, it starts, uh, you know, reporting to the logs. Okay, now I'm going to head over to the overview section to see a summary of the machine. Here you have the network, the memory, the host name, the time zone, the flash code it's running. We're going to go back to the CG miner status, check the hashing again. The nice feature about this is you can restart the CG miner process just from that button. And if you change your pools, you would want to restart it. Here you see the hashing is growing as the time elapsed. And that will continue until it reaches 11.5. Okay, here we are back 16 minutes later. The hashing power is now at full speed. 11.5 you got your pools set up still and you got your temperatures the ambient temperature in the room is about 81 which is slightly hot but we're in florida i'm going to refresh this one more time for you guys to see 
There you go. We're still at 11.5, and now it's 17 minutes elapsed. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us, or you can buy the Watts Miner on our website, www.wattsminer.net.